I may be on a late freight, but I just found out who Kiki was. <laughs> Kiki is your bitch. That's why you're so mad. Because Drake put dick in your bitch. He did, huh? Drake, you a cold nigga, cuz. I like that song, but I ain't know why I liked it. I really like it now. Kiki, do you love me? Remember sucking me? And never, 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 never you. Yeah, he put dick in your bitch. How about that? Mm. Kiki, you bitch you. Oh. He fucked Kiki down, didn't he? Good shit, Drake. Did you pour champagne on her? Did you give her a little bit or oh, a lot of bit? Kiki, do you love me? You bitch you. Say so you'll never leave me, but you did for that nigga. That's who Kiki is for real? Mm, mm, mm. All right, Miss Telefrail TV, how's everybody doing out there? I'm all about consistency, man. And sometimes I got to admit to you guys, I don't understand when there's a lack of consistency. So I just played for you guys a video of Snoop Dogg absolutely disrespecting Kanye and his relationship. Again, would I do something like that? No, but that's Snoop. That's the, you know, Snoop's the OG. If he felt comfortable disrespecting Ye and his and his wife Kim Kardashian that way because of Ye's political ties, that's on him. I wouldn't have did that. It was incredibly disrespectful. It is what it is, all right? Now, let's break down what the hell has happened, all right? There is a record that has pretty much been, I'd say, top three, top four, one of the biggest records in our culture in 2018. The record you might have heard, Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Saying you never ever leave. You don't know the record. You, you've done the dance. All right. You you you, you might not know the, the name of the record, or you can, you might can't uh, vibe it out from my terrible ass singing. But you you've done this dance. All right. It is the family reunion dance. Niggas gonna be snapping, hitting this dance all Thanksgiving. All right. Drake dropped a crazy record that Shiggy did the dance to. Next thing you know, that bad boy was number one record in the country. Now apparently Kim Kardashian's nickname is Kiki because Drake has been dissing. Yay. In like records, said telling people he don't wear no 350s around him and all that. Like he been dissing, yeah. Don't get me wrong. And we just seen him on the shop a week or two ago, pretty much say how he doesn't like yeah. And he thought yeah did some shiesty shit to him. Now people, there are people in the streets who believe Kiki uh, is Kim Kardashian. Drake did acknowledge that he made a lot of the album after Wyoming with Kanye West. So people are looking at it like yo, is Kiki Kim Kardashian? And is he trolling Ye back like Ye trolled him with the lift yourself uh, poopity scoop post on Twitter, all right? Now, I don't know if Kiki is Kim Kardashian. I have no clue of knowing that. But here's my question. How come Kanye is not being consistent? When you thought that Drake made this record that Drake has never spoken on, so pretty much Ye is just mad over pure speculation because he he's mad that Drake won't come out and say Kim Kardashian is not Kiki. All right, you you got on Instagram made a video under a train in Chicago saying, "Yo, Drake, bro, you ain't you ain't dismissing these rumors about my wife that don't sit well on my spirit." You called out Drake, you called out Nick Cannon, you called out Tyson Peck. Okay, all right. You called those guys out, but you got a video of Snoop Dogg right here. And if if you don't want to put negative energy to the atmosphere, who am I to judge you? I'm just saying, let's be consistent. Snoop Dogg tried to disrespect you and your relationship with your wife in any which way he could. That video was completely disrespectful. You think that'll be the time where you hop on social media and be like, yo, I want to smoke. Leave my wife name out your mouth. Again, I think people choose their battles wisely. I think certain people, people know that they got real street ties. I'll just leave it at that. And they, they kind of tread lightly. But I just can't fathom like, yo, this dude flat foot said your wife's name. He disrespected her any which way. But you wanted all the smoke with Drake. We're missing something here. I don't know. Y'all talk to me in the comment box below. By the way, Ye did respond to all this with a picture of Snoop Dogg. Today is Snoop Dogg's birthday. Happy born day, Snoop. And it's a picture of a young Snoop Dogg just saying all love. Maybe him and Snoop have talked behind the scenes. I doubt it. Snoop Dogg, is, is his energy has remained the same. He wants Kanye to stop backing Donald Trump, period. Y'all tell me what y'all think, though. Talk to me in the comment box below. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Yo, Snoop is wild. All right? I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. 
I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. Hey, the kids, they who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.